Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the VHDL code for the D flip flop IC7474. So, in the last class, I have started this D flip flop and D means data or delay flip flop. So, this is the symbolic representation of the D flip flop with the preset and clear pins as well. And this is the internal structure where the D flip flop is constructed using SR flip flop. So, by taking the inverting operation between s and r and connected to d that particular operation is nothing but d flip flop and then and this is the 7474 ic which is a dual d flip flop where two d flip flops are there on one side we have one d flip flop operation and on other side we are having another d flip flop operation parallelly two d flop d flip flops we can use from this 7474 ic and this is the truth table truth table for the D flip flop. Now, based on this truth table, we can write a VHDL program for this D flip flop in terms of behavioral modeling. Whenever we are writing the VHDL code using truth table means we are writing on the, we are writing in terms of behavioral model. Okay, process statement we have to use and thereby uh, any if else conditions. Okay, so VHDL code in behavioral model VHDL code in behavioral model for 7474 IC. So in 7474 IC we have two D flip flops but we are not writing two D flip flop code we will write only one D flip flop code okay. So, for any VHDL code or whatever may be the style, whether it is a behavioral, structural or data flow, we should take two lines that is the library IEEE, use IEEE dot std underscore logic underscore 1164 dot all. Okay, so we have a library and we have a package. So library IEEE use IEEE dot std underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all. Okay, if you want to add unsigned arithmetic also you can add, but we, whenever you want to perform arithmetic operation, then you can use them. Otherwise, no need to use, right. So entity entity IC7474 is port we know very well entity is a part where we declare the inputs and outputs so port what are the inputs for this one we have D input clock preset underscore L clear underscore L okay this underscore l specifies that the pin is active low pin that means it works whenever we are having zero on it if we pass one on it it won't work okay the particular operation will not work in std underscore logic and coming to the output side we have two outputs q q bar out std underscore logic end IC7474 now the most important part architecture architecture behavioral style of IC7474 of IC7474 is is begin begin process process so in, it in, inside the process what we are doing we are doing we are taking the instances what are the instances we are having that uh, instances means the change on this instance should definitely change the output. 
change on the instance should change the output that is the uh, instance meaning and uh, that particular uh, pin should be added in the process so process preset underscore l clear underscore l d and clock so all these signals are responsible for the change of the output that's why all these are instances begin process begin if so first and foremost condition is when preset is equal to 0 or clear is equal to 0 the corresponding action should be done because it is having highest priority i told you already in the last class so preset is equal to 0 means output should be 1 clear is equal to 0 means output should be 0 so irrespective of the status of d and clock these two actions should be done with highest priority okay so first we need to check whether they are activated or not so if clear is equal to clear is equal to 0 clear is equal to 0 and preset is also equal to 0 listen carefully what i am saying then see what happened clear is equal to 0 preset is equal to 0 that means both are activated both are activated when both are activated the output should not work because both is both are having highest priority both should cannot work at a time that's why output is an indeterminate state already i told you in the last class go to the truth table see here the last line says that when both are activated the output is output is high both q and q bar output is high that means it is an indeterminate state both should not be same because one is complement to other so that's why we are taking the same q is equal to 1 and q bar is also equal to 1 okay we are writing the same truth table now else if else if now we are coming to the individual operations else if clear underscore l is equal to 0 then only clear is activated then what happens q is equal to clear is equal to 0 only clear is activated q is equal to 0 q is equal to 0 comma q bar is equal to 1 q bar is equal to 1 else if preset underscore l is equal to 0 then q is equal to 1 q bar is equal to 0 these are normal regular operations when preset is activated output is 0 and when preset is activated output is 1 okay now now we are coming on to the clock signal see first we have compared whether both are activated or not whether single one is activated whether it is a clock clear or preset when if any of these conditions not met then we are going on to the clock signal because we have to compare the highest priority signals first in the programming style we have to start from the priority wise okay now else if else if so how to write the clock clock tick event and clock is equal to 1 clock tick event and clock is equal to 1 this particular line says that it is a rising edge clock it is a rising edge of the clock so rising edge of the clock means 0 to 1 transition that's why clock tick event means tick, clock tick event says that it is a event where the clock is having a transition from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 now which transition we are saying it is one so after the after that event the clock goes to one that is the meaning of this one so it is saying simply rising edge 
how to write the falling edge so clock tick event and clock equal to zero like that okay so always we are using rising edge then then i will write here then what happens q is equal to simply d and q bar is equal to q bar is equal to not d okay whenever the clock occurs output is equal to input in the d flip flop so remaining all cases covered end if how many ifs we have open only one if end process end behavioral ic7474 okay so this is what the bhtl code in the behavioral style for the 7474 ic this is for one d flip flop okay thank you